Let's go back uh, a few years now to, obviously, you've now uh, come out and talked about your cancer scare. What actually happened? Well, very quickly, and I'll try and be quick, because my stories are always damn long, but here we go. A friend of mine came in, I hadn't seen him for many times, called David from Sheffield area, and he looked very, very ill. I said, David, you're not looking... He said, no, I said, I've got prostate cancer. Now, that's... In, in a couple of weeks, that's about the third time I'd heard that from different people. So I thought, hmm... I'm going to go for another check. So I got my doctor. He says, what are your symptoms? I says, I haven't got any. What, what are they? I said, he said, well, what do you want it for? Then I said, I just want to check. I've just got a feeling. I want to check. Went in, went for the check, went for that long scan thing in the cap, whatever it is, and they said, all right, top to bottom. I said, no, no, only on the bottom bit there. I've done all the other tests for them. She said, no, no, you've got the whole top to do. I said, OK, do it. So I'm in there for about 40 minutes, as you know, how long it, when you're doing it. Mm. Come and see me. I thought, oh, my God, I've got frustrated. And he went, oh, no, you're fine there, but we don't like this. And they found a little teeny sparkle on my chest, which amazed me, guy, because I've never smoked in my life. I've done my fair share of drinking, mm. never took drugs, uh, apart from aspirin and all that stuff. And uh, so smoking, I was just, no, no, it's a mistake. So the guy said to me, don't worry, look, let's do a bio. Bella insisted. He said, you can wait six months. Bella said, no, he's not. Do it now. Oh, really? She was Oh, yeah, she pushed me. I'm going, yeah, six months is a good idea. She went, no, 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 now. So he did the up and he said to me, sign this, what's that? He said, we find something, we take it out. I'm trying to rush the story. I walk up, hi. After the operation, he said, I'm sorry, Pete, it was a big scene. Really? Mm -hmm. Half a lung later, they took it out. And then what I should have done, to be honest with you, Gabby, I should have warned up straight away and said, look, chaps, this is what happened to me at my age and my lifestyle. Maybe you should go for checks. And I didn't do that. And but that was also five that, years ago. Yeah, you know what, though? You are allowed a, a private life. You are allowed yeah. to keep things to yourself. And it's wonderful that you've come out now and talked about it because, basically, people have got to go and have checks. Mm. Well, that's my, my... My message now is this. Look, five or six years ago, uh, I was in a bit of a knife age and my, my doctor said, look, we've got to check you... I've been checked every six months. And I go every six months Good, anyway. I'm to hear it. And uh, if and there's such a okay? thing, if there's such a thing as a cure, then I'm it. Uh, which makes me feel pretty good. I haven't missed my half a long, let me just tell you. Well, it's wonderful to see you, obviously, and you've, you've got a new baby on the way, little Jack. So little thank Jack, you. Jack of a little Jack, yeah. Oh, congratulations, Peter. Lovely to see you. Thank, thank you, you very Gabby. much indeed. I'm pleased you're doing so well.